Hi, Arlene Schiffer from MJ's Handmaids. I'm at MJ's Blues and Dance Club, which is a virtual live blues venue located inside of secondlife.com. Look us up. We're on in, uh, Intuitive. This one called Intuitive. Um, today I'm going to show you a, a go-to snake weave that I use. Um, uh, there's a lot of different kinds of weaves that people use for snake skins or the snake skin type look. Um, this is just a an easy old style that I always turn to. Um, it does require more than two wires. You're going to need more than two. And your uh, weaving wire, you're going to start from the center of it. So um, any size gauge wire you want to use. Today I'm going to show you how to do this being it's just a practice tutorial. I'm using 20 gauge wire. Um, I got my three pieces cut because again you'll need more than two. Also, I do want to make sure you know that I don't do tutorial videos. They're pretty much follow-alongs. Um, I have a few PDFs on my website, uh, mjsblues.com, that you can download and uh, work at your own pace. Um, but these aren't professional videos or, or deemed tutorials. Just uh, this is how I do it. Um, so have fun and grab a cup of coffee, tea, whatever your favorite beverage is, a snack if you need. Um, I know I need, I do. And uh, let's go. I'm going to take my weaving wire, which is about 26 gauge. And it's just a practice piece that I had cut. 26 gauge. I'm going to anchor it. You're going to need to start from the middle. Now, if you're going to do a bracelet, let's say, or make a snake, make sure you have enough weaving wire cut off from your spool. This isn't something you can work off the spool with because you need the, the center and you need a good measurement for it. So there is a little bit of measuring and science to this if you're going to use this weave. Um, but here, it's it's really neat and it's really easy. Just take a, a wire, center your wrapping wire on it, anchor your wrapping wire onto your onto one piece, Put one on top and one on the bottom. And you have your wires. Pink. In between. And what you're going to do with these, again, you need more than two wires for this. make this neat for you. Neat. Neat enough anyways. And this is all you do. It's this simple. You might want to go around anchor it just with one wrap because it's going to look a little funny. It's going to have a separation. But I did that just to anchor it and you can see what's going on. Get it down a little bit more. Okay. I'm going to take one and bring it over. If you start with the top, wrap around the first two wires all the way around. With your second wire, you go with your bottom two wires and you wrap like so. And you just keep doing this pattern. Let's get these out of the way. And you get kind of a snake weave. Even similar to a caning look, you know? You know how to cane uh, patio furniture. Just make sure you're, that middle wire will be grabbed by each weaving wire all the time. to do that with my nylons and that is just my go-to snake weave looks kind of chain like or see that and that's all you do and it's it's a real good sturdy weave um it's easy super super easy to do and you look 
really good. Your pieces are going to look really neat and yummy. Um, so definitely grab it and practice using this particular weave. You're going to like it a lot. And uh, I've got a couple more that I'd like to show you. Um, for instance, here's one that I know a lot of people have a hard time with. It's the crisscross. Lay your wire over. Bring it through. Bring it in between so you have an anchor. And then back through. But be patient and always lay your wire down. Now people don't do that. They want to just rip through it and they've got bumps and bubbles all over the place. And I'll do a better video on this. I think I have one for leaves, leaf making, but that's a terrible video too. So, And this would make a nice crazy eight or infinity crisscross series of a, a million names for it. But that's all that is. And if you're patient and you know to just I have too small a wire so this isn't a good example. Just lay your wire down across it and, and follow it as you're turning it and then it's laying up against your wire and you're not um, over pulling you don't want to and that's mainly everybody's problem they go they don't understand why they have all of these bumps and ridges going on and it's because you're kind of pulling and you don't realize that you're doing it so if you just have the patience and just wrap the wire your wrapping wire around your base wire it'll form fit and you're just pretty much guiding it that's it um, but yeah this snake weave I hope you get uh, I hope you're able to see something there uh, have a good day uh, Marlene Schiffer click subscribe if you want to follow me uh, I know my videos aren't the best but maybe you can learn something uh, have a good day